The Bamsters Race on our show, where console peasants and PC master racers unite in glorious bacon. Hello guys and welcome. Welcome to this week's Friday's News. Yes guys, a lot has happened this week. We've picked out two topics that we thought would be interesting. Uh, I'm joined by my partner in crime, G, and uh, I'll let him introduce the topics to you guys. G, say hello. Hey everybody. Yes, it is Friday. It's news day. But um, despite having quite a lot of news actually this week, just past you to see there's PAX East, etc. I guess we are focusing on, yes, yeah, Bam said, two little things. Yes, those two little things is Borderlands 3, which we have been told to mention today because it is a very, very important topic to talk about. And I, I agree in some respects. And the second is EGX Res, which is happening next week, Wednesday. So, what, well, Thursday. But uh, yes. Drac, we will talk about Borderlands 3 because you asked for it. So there, Drac, <laughs> we've talked about it. Now let's uh. move on. <laughs> no, no, we've got to actually talk about more about this because if we don't, he, he'll, he'll, he'll murder me. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least uh, the reveal kind of um, was nice. I just saw uh, Randy Pitchford put out a tweet saying, I am excited. And I thought he'd found another USB stick. Well, when I saw that tweet, I thought he was trying to sort of, um, you know, rehearse or, or recite Borat. And if you guys don't know what Borat is, please go and watch it. It is one of the funniest sketches, TV films I've ever seen. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant TV show and movie. But no, nice trailer. That's kind of sort of what I saw. Lots of people we recognize, lots of characters, lots of new characters. The visuals were gorgeous. I mean, I always love that cell shaded uh, style, but ooh, does it look good in this one. Aye, oh, but you see, is that actual game footage you're showing or is it uh, pre-rendered? ultra spec out footage that makes it supposed to look deliciously lovely and then when it comes to the game it's actually scaled back a lot that's happened in Anthem that's happened in Red Dead Redemption that's happened in Division that's happened in uh, Division 2 sorry that's happened in Destiny so and so forth so is it actual in-game rendered footage? Well past Borderlands trailers we've seen from previous games have been pretty spot on at least um, on, against higher end PCs I'd even say against consoles PS3 version did mostly look like the trailers so I'm, I'm confident and what they show, they can they can actually produce. Ah, oh, it's the animation style and uh, color sort of palette they've chosen. I think they can actually handle it. But I watched the trailer and I didn't actually catch. I watched the trailer before we did this. Okay, my little bit of research, ten minutes before this episode. Yes, sue me. Um, I didn't actually see a, a thing saying not actual game footage. Not that I was looking for it because I was completely entranced with this trailer. Very very nice slick trailer. I don't know. I I didn't. I liked you know the, the visuals. I liked that we saw some characters that we recognize. They show off some new characters. To me, this was actually the most boring of the Borderlands trailers. And looking at all the other game trailers recently, particularly what we saw last year with Fallout, this is not the style I would have done it in. I would have done a lot more um, emotional. I would have gone all in for uh, all familiar faces and strangers. You see, I don't know much about that. Okay, I, I honestly think that when it comes down to the trailer itself, I want to know if it's in-game footage or is it... Um pre-rendered whatever have you um i'm pretty sure like you said it's probably back on because the trailers have been pretty sweet on and gameplay footage so on so forth all that jazz now when it comes down to what you've mentioned i think they're playing it safe because of the debacles with regards to destiny 2 fallout 76 anthem and so on yes i know fallout 76 and anthem are the recent developments but they can still sort of make changes to trailers with them so i think they're playing it safe to not sort of get the hype train going too quickly because uh, <laughs> a lot of things bad. can happen in, oh well a lot of things happen in hype trains you know they get too real they oversell it and they promise too much and all of a sudden so maybe these guys are playing it safe perhaps well should we say we mentioned it that was borderland 7 you're right it was actually like borderland 7 8 i mean it's more of the same really i'd like to see a new ip but is that asking too much you no i i think it's good they continue it i'm i'm on board continuing this thing um but it, it's been yeah literally this is the seventh game in the uh, series yeah so uh, yes please guys seventh ip make a new game you guys are great developers great producers all that jazz i'm sure you guys have got your hiccups but new ip please different take on something please come on now well bam talking about something else doing something new doing something different 
going outside of your comfort zone. What are you doing next week? I am going to be hiding in a corner at um, a place called Tobacco Docks in London. Yes, I'm actually going to go out and meet you strange people out there that will not know who I am, will not know where I am, and I've got to go and tell everyone. Yes, I'm attending EGX Rex with my good friend G here talking to you. And uh, yes, guys, if you listen to this, all one of you, come and say hi. You'll, you'll know who we are. You can't miss us. We're, we're, we're yeah, tall and fat. That's us. Yeah, except one of us is not tall. Oh, I'm, I'm tall and you're fat, so tall and fat. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel and Hardy. Well, <laughs> well, I was going for that, but... <laughs> yeah, but that means you're a proper journalist now. You're a games journal. Oh, good God, I'm an actual journo. Am I, I wouldn't really call it that, G. I'd say enthusiast press is where I'd, I'd draw my line. I have no uh, uh, formal education in journalism. I just want to play games, talk about them, and inform people about um, my opinions of, of said games. I mean, I have opinions about many games, particularly the one about Nova Bombing, and how I believe CCP are going to make it a Battle Royale game, because that might actually suit it quite well. But hey, we don't know what, what Sumo Digital are doing to uh, Nova right now. Well, they're actually not showing, so I don't think we'll be seeing them over there. No, I, I know that. I know that. I, I've been... E3. Yeah. I, um, we're not, I'm not going to be going to that. Sorry. I'm not going to stand in the queue for, for four hours of the day when I could much rather be doing something else. Oh, you need to experience the press pass. But no, we will be going around watching all the, particularly all the indie games. It's going to be awesome. Well, heading over to Fringe, checking out everything. Well, you, you said I need to experience a press pass. We have got press passes. We are going to be pressy type peoples. Gee, yes, I'm going to experience a press pass. We're going to be live journalists at EJX Rest. Yes, so every day next week, i.e. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're going to be posting up a video about our wrap-up and uh, how we thought it all went. So, yes, guys, that is what we're doing. I don't know why G was saying those things because I think he's a bit strung out on stress about how to control me because apparently I'm a, I'm an out-of-control person. I don't think I am. Um, but, uh, you know, apparently there was a carrot and a mule and a, and a pie cider somewhere the last time we went out. So, yeah, we will figure it out. It's okay. I found a nice red leash and uh, one of those smelly um, things you put around the neck. A simple, single red leash. I think you need a chain, dude. And one of them, one of them zapper collar things, bro. <laughs> We've got some meetings lined up as well, so that's going to be interesting, seeing you in a meeting with game developers and marketing people. Well, I've spoken to quite a few um, game developers uh, with regards to their video games. It'll be interesting to see these guys face to face, and I think it'll be rather interesting to see how the, uh, the whole dynamic changes, because as you guys know, talking to people without seeing their faces, you can kind of get away with certain things, but being face to face, you've got to sort of have a certain rapport about you. You know, you've got to have a certain way of doing it, a decorum, you know, all sorts of bits and pieces. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. This is the first time I'm doing it. Yes, I'm kind of camera shy, but uh, we will get there eventually, I suppose. And there will be cameras. We're bringing a couple. Of yeah, so like I said, we're going to be uh, taking video footage of the floor and panning views and the usual YouTube type bits and pieces. So yes, all one of you, two of you that listen to this Friday's news, uh, keep sticking about. We, I'm going to pick G up at uh, San Pancras on the Wednesday. We're going to take a quick wander over to uh, a few people. We're going to go Thursday, have a few chats, Friday, so on and so forth. So yeah, it'll be an interesting week, G. What are you looking forward to with EGX, dude? Well, that's that fringe, really. Um, but also meeting a few friends. One that I owe a hug <laughs> from last year because that was awkward. Um, meeting past guests is always fun. There's um, one Hannah Flynn is doing a presentation, I think, Thursday afternoon on marketing. Well, follow that one. Yeah, I think that's it. And then Saturday, I'll just be walking around and uh, saying hi. Well, I'll be joining you all three days, wait, if the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so we'll, we'll see where we, how we go from there, G. So, because <coughs> initially it was going to be a case of, uh, for me, Thursday, Friday, get back to work on the Saturday because slave driver boss I've got, but I've managed to wrangle my day and extra day off work and uh, I shall be there for all three days, yeehaw. Sweet. So people, if you see us, if you see two guys dressed like bacon, I guess that's what we're doing. Nope. Say hi. <laughs> nope. You're going to have the, um, the butterfly outfit, Brohan. I've got the uh, the moth outfit, so yes, we're wandering around as uh, Tinkerbell and Tinker B. Oh, Chrysler. No, 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 no. Good God, no, no, no. We've got black soft cell jackets, right? You'll see the Bamsters logos on the back and the front. Come on now, seriously. If we were going to go play dress up, we'd do it 
properly. Well, I guess that's kind of it. Um, catch us at EDX Rest. This wasn't quite news, except for the Borderlands part. This is just us kind of being nervous about literally Thursday. Well, yeah. We hope everybody who's in London go see Rest. It's supposed to be fun. It's my first trip at Rest as well. And if you're out and about, catch some of the videos that we hopefully upload. Or, you know, once we get to the week after, we'll do a little wrap-up, probably sometimes Monday. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yes, of course. Yes, G, you always uh, make me forget about these things but anyway like like direct like g said we'll be there all three days we're gonna have a lot of fun talk to people meet people shake hands all the good stuffs just remember drac won't be there so it's gonna be a lot of fun because we all know drac is the james may of the group so you know we we're gonna have a lot of fun genuinely thought that was me no 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 you're the you're the hammond i'm the clarkson we we've, we've discussed this he's the may you're the hammo i'm the the jc we're done that's it I, i'm i'm the loud obnoxious twat you're the 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 slightly shorter obnoxious twat and then you've got the, the actual voice of reason <laughs> Drac, so there we go. Yeah, no, I always pictured Drac as Amster. No, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Drac is is makes a lot more sense than some and a lot worse than others. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for uh, joining us on Friday. We shall see you at Resd uh, next week, Thursday. My name is Bam Havoc. Thank you very much for listening to this week's news. Please like, comment, subscribe, and unfortunately, you've got to double subscribe, so click that bell button and you can get every single notification we put out on this media platform. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Bye. Ciao.